Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCare. In this video, I'm going to compare the iPhone 7 device versus Realme GT device, which phone is really the best option to buy right now. The main reason why I'm uploading this video is because the Realme GT device, which has got the very good interesting deal in the Flipkart website for about 29,000 rupees. Right now, there is a huge discount going on, friends. 9,000 rupees instant discount you can actually get on the Realme GT device. For 29,000 rupees, you're getting the Snapdragon 888 processor. And iQOO 7 device right now, it's available for about uh, exactly 28,000 rupees. Only 1,000 rupees difference is there. And for this 1,000 extra, you're getting Snapdragon 888. Let's see which phone is really the best option to buy right now. Since I'm getting plenty of comments regarding these both phones, so that of comparing between these two devices side by side so let's talk about each and every aspect in this video so first thing let's talk about the performance the snapdragon 870 and the 888 processor both are pretty powerful but the snapdragon 888 has one advantage which is battery once mobile game 90 fps you can actually play in the realme gt and in the iQOO 7 device still now there is no information about 90 fps not yet updated in this iQOO 7 device and there is no heating problems in the iQOO 7 device, no heating problems, but there is slightly the heating problem is there in the Realme GT with the Snapdragon 888 processor. So if you ask me which phone I'll prefer, I'll prefer the iQOO 7 device because of stable kind of performance I'll, I'll be getting and not much heating problems. And if you try to look at the benchmarks, you can clearly see here, one lakh difference will be there between these both phones as well regarding the benchmarks and everything. And CPU throttling also is kind of okay, I would say the throttling, not bad. Because both phones they do have the similar kind of throttling effect as you can clearly see friends similar little bit but not much as you can clearly see so definitely friends in terms of the heating problems only i'll try to um, prefer this iq sound device because this phone doesn't have much kind of heating problem next thing we got in the display both are 120 hertz refresh rate display and if you want big screen display then go for the iq sound device if you want small screen display realme gt but hdr is supported in the iq sound device netflix hdr at this moment, Netflix HDR is not supported in the Realme GT device. So even in the camera, camera is another strongest point for the, and next thing I forgot to mention, iQOO 7 has got the display chip, which is intelligent display chip, which has got the game frame interpolation as well, which will slightly boost the frame rates while gaming. That's a pretty good advantage, 4D vibrations. So they're a fantastic feature which are present in the iQOO 7 device. So next thing is regarding the cooling system as I said, which is really very cool. And regarding the camera, the iQOO 7 has got really very good 48 megapixel OIS triple camera setup. And Realme XN, Realme GT also having the Sony camera sense, but iQOO 7 uh, camera is very good when compared with the Realme smartphone in terms of the camera. So that's what I did feel uh, when, I, when I tried to use these both phones as well. So next thing regarding the battery backup, battery backup, I think the both phones are slightly kind of very close, not a huge difference. And charging speed, the iQOO 7 takes about 31 minutes, 32 minutes as well. Realme GT takes about 29 minutes and 30 minutes. Both phones are pretty close regarding the charging speed, not a huge difference. And LPDDR4X RAM, LPDDR5 RAM type in the Realme GT device. And next thing is regarding the connectivity wise, I mean, sorry, I forgot to mention build quality. Build quality, you do have the 3.5mm jack in the Realme GT, so which is also really very good advantage regarding the 3.5mm jack. And not only that, there are more 5G bands in the Realme GT device. And there is only one 5G band in the iQOO 7 smartphone. That's a slightly kind of drawback at this moment in the iQOO 7 device regarding the connectivity. And that's it friends, this is a quick comparison between these both phones overall, which phone is really the best option to buy. Final conclusion is that Realme GT Advantage or 3.5mm jack and battery guns mobile game 90 FPS is there in this device and more 5G bands in the Realme GT device. These are the few advantages in this phone. iQOO 7 advantages are very cool uh, processor, not that much heating. And next thing is uh, dual display chip technology, which will slightly improve the game frame interpolation and better camera setup in this iQOO 7 device. And haptic feedbacks are really same. Loudspeaker also kind of very similar, nothing much huge difference between these both phones. So that's it friends, thank you for watching. This is a quick comparison between these two devices. So, Android updates, Android 12 and Android 13 will be receiving, that's it. There is no Android 14 between these both phones. So thank you for watching this video friends and the meanwhile signing off until instead of more updates. Until then, bye.